Woo. Let's do one more job. We just got done checking out two of ones. Woo. Kids on brooms. Woo. Let's talk about it. Oh, oh, God. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, boy, there, YouTube. <laughs> we are back again today for another review and a special, special tag team review here with my eight year old son, Sean. Hello. We just got done playing two games of Duel of Wands, Kids on Brooms, the card game. This is a two-player card dueling game for ages 10 plus. Two players take about 30 to 45 minutes to play. There's two different ways to play the game. There is a basic version of the game. There is an advanced version of the game. But the game is a really simple one. You're going to have 13 cards to start off the game. You're going to have 11, which will be the same, the Dispels, the Hijack, the Annihilate, the Breaks. These are going to allow you to look at other people's cards that are in their hand, destroy those cards, uh, and do some other various different shenanigans. And then you're going to have two fancier spells, which will be these pink ones, and you'll get two of these at the beginning of every single round, and they will do some weird fancy funky stuff now if you move on to the advanced version of the game then there's an upgrade ability where you will be able to upgrade some of the basic cards you have to slightly nicer versions of those cards and sometimes pretty pretty stick and nice versions of the cards but it's still pretty much the same game but just a little bit more complex yep. if you want to see exactly how the game's played click somewhere around here we got a bower family learns on that one but this is the review so let's go over the pros let's go over the cons First on the con side, I'm going to go first because this, this is one of my big pet peeves, is this is the game right here. This is the entire sum of the game is this many cards. This. Why do I need this box? It's just, ah, it drives me mad. This could have been a micro game. This could have been a tuck box. I understand why people are a lot less likely to buy a tuck box card game. But it's still, it's annoying from, from that perspective. Uh, it's a minor nitpick, though, but it is something I do want to mention. Now, onto the actual gameplay itself. One comment I had with this game is that from game to game to game, they're going to feel pretty same, I would say, buddy. Mm -hmm. Like, you're always going to have 11 cards that are going to do the same thing. You'll have two of the, the weirder ones. And even when you start upgrading with the advanced mode, the cards are still the same. Like, you know, Dispel is not, like, crazy different. It's just, oh, it's slightly better. So I don't feel like from game to game to game to game, you're really going to be like, oh, you remember that one time in Duel of Wands where that crazy thing happened? Like, no, probably not, because the same things kind of happen over and over again. Uh -huh. Do you have any comments with the game? I don't like how some cards to some people can be a little bit confusing. Okay. Uh, there is. There's a good deal of text in the cards. And I will say, this is for ages 10 plus. So Sean's eight. And, and when you were first starting, you know, there was... The difference between dispelling and uh, which is kind of like trashing them versus just playing in the cast pile. And there is a good deal of text on some of these cards, which you do need to going into it. How long did you wrap your brain around it pretty quickly, though? He beat my he beat my face in both games. Yep. But you're saying when you first started, there was a little bit of a learning curve. Yeah. And one thing that I do I did kind of notice was you tended to keep some of your pink cards and not play those. Was that because you were a little bit more confused about what the pink cards did? Okay, and so that is that's a great point to bring up because those cards are not those are kind of supposed to be secret. So you wouldn't want to just necessarily show them to me. But maybe what I should have done at the beginning of this was I should have went over all of them because there's only like six or seven, and just talked about what each one of them did. So okay. do you think if you're playing playing on playing with those kids, that's a great thing to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah, I, I totally because we did that with the spell and hijack when we went to the advanced version of the game. We went over every single one, but we didn't do that with the pink cards. Yeah. That's a great point. So that's more on me. Less on the game, I'd say, on that one. But still, uh, great point. One other thing that I... Another minor nitpick, just I play too many board games and I have nitpicks, is this. I hate this. Like, this is the player reference card. It's great. But they're... Like, put something else in the back. Like, there's there could have been... There could have been some other stuff. Like, some situational rules. Just... Yeah, it, it, I, I always like that. Any other cons? Anything else you didn't like about this mm -hmm. game? I don't think I really have one. I think the uh, I think it's a really solid game. Mm -hmm. I put it into good to very good category. Uh, I think we're probably going to keep it because I'm guessing you really Sean really likes this game, don't you? Mm -hmm. Why don't we start with you? What did you really enjoy about Duel of Wands, Kids on Brooms card game? I I I like the artwork. The artwork, okay, yeah, and some of the uh, pink. That was a little bit creepy on the pink cards. Yeah, like obliterate looks like there's some ghost. Okay. And that's something that I wouldn't really thought about it because it's mostly just hands to me. But yeah, I'd say they're well-done hands. So okay. So you, you dug the artwork. 
Uh, and I know you're a really big fan of the theme, the wizard. I mean, the yeah. wizard theme is just one that really appeals to you. You're a big fan of Harry Potter, and mm -hmm. I mean, who's not? Most people, uh, like most of the world, I think. Um, what else did you like? Did you like the gameplay? Easy, because I felt like this yeah. was pretty easy to learn, easy to teach, aside uh, from some of the cards. The play, read. Okay, that happens. Yeah, and I don't think we ever discarded, because on your turn you can either play a card or discard a card. I don't think we discarded a card ever, did we? Yep. I imagine that's a very situational thing. So really, the whole rules that you need to know are have four cards in your hand pretty much all the time, play a card, draw up to four cards, wait for the other person to go. Yeah, that's that's it. That's it. Yeah. So it's, it's very easy to learn, easy to teach, and I think it's a, a solid two-player game. I'd say good. Yep. I think, quite honestly, though, I don't think I would keep it if you didn't love it. And the only reason why is I don't routinely get two-player games to the table. So when I do, I kind of want a little bit more meat, a little bit more heft. So if you're expecting this to be something that's going to have, you know, just tons of replayability because each game is going to be different and unique, I don't think that's it. Because yeah. despite the fact you're upgrading cards, and despite the fact there's, uh, you know, these pink ones, it's just not the case. Now, that being said, I think this game could definitely get some easy legs with an expansion. Even if it's just like a, yeah. a small pack of cards. Just like if it was just like six more pink cards. We'd be like, oh yeah, six more pink cards, cool. great. Yeah. Um, this is a game where promos and stuff like that really add a good deal of value to the game. And you can have new upgrades. So I feel like this game could definitely be more, but you do need to know going into it. If you're looking more for like a Mage Wars or something like that, because it does say 30 to 45 minutes, which makes you think, oh, this this has a good deal of meat on it. It's a very light, simple game. But uh, I still think it's a really enjoyable light, simple game because there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. So we're recommending this one? Yep. So I'm in the very good category. I'm at like a, like a 7.5. Where are you at this? And normally I'd say 7 good, 8 great, 9 fantastic, 10 it's like one of your favorite games ever. Six, it's okay. Five, yeah, four, uh, three, uh, two, oh god, one. I don't, even, I don't even make you play the ones. I don't make you play the ones, Sean, because I love you. And, then, and I don't want you to leave me. And zeros, it's like, oh my god, this is so but hard you, A game can never get a zero. I, 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 I don't think I could give a game a zero. Just because there's got to be some value there. Like even yeah. something, something. It's good kindling, firewood. All right, anywho, what, what, so put a number on this. Um, I'm a 7.5. I would say 7.7. 7. Okay, so you like it more than me? Yep. Okay, I, I thought you were going to be more on the 8. So you don't think it's great, but you still think it's very good? Yeah. All right. Dual Wands, Kids on Room Card Games, we think it's very good. It could potentially be great in the future. But there you go. It looks like it might be a cup of tea. Be sure to check this one out. Also, if you enjoy what we're doing, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers. Celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube combat. Combat. Not combat. <laughs> YouTube combat. <laughs> uh, which is longer than you've been alive. And also consider supporting the Patreon because I'm currently a stay-at-home dad. But as always, thanks for... Oh, you want to ask a question? In the comments below. Let me know. I should have said that earlier. Oh, mm. new. If, if you... Add one spell to the game. What would it be? Ooh, it's gonna be a hard one for them to know because they don't really know the spells, buddy. Oh yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, the backup one. You got a little. You got in your side pocket a little question to throw out there about zebras or something. <laughs> Are you literally checking your pocket? Like, did did I write down? Did I write something down earlier? No, those are my car keys. Wait, I don't have a car. All right. No, stop farting on the channel. You're too much. <laughs> Luckily, there's not smell of vision. Now, what's your question? Okay. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Excuse me. Okay. My question is... Get it out. Get it out. Do you... Better out than in, buddy. Do you... I like zebras. Do you like zebras? Who doesn't like zebras? Who, the, do, you think the, do you think my subscribers are like, we hate zebras? Like, have you ever met anyone who hates zebras? Yeah. Who? Um, pretty sure Julian. Okay. That sounds like a very Julian thing to say. <laughs> okay. I like zebras. Yeah, I like zebras. They're delightful. They're like horses, but not. And they're at the zoo, and they're great, and they're, you know, they sit there and do stuff. I like that they're, that, that they're lying in lunch. And breakfast. But, I mean, they got to eat. And snack. I'd like to ride a zebra. Whee! 
It's like, I'm sure if we ride horses, why don't we ride zebras? And I would not want to ride a zebra in the Sahara in, in like a savanna because then he will, it would be chased by a lion. Yeah, I'd probably just go to like Vegas or something. I think it'd be really cool to ride around Las Vegas on a zebra. Uh, well, what if the zebra kicks you off? Ah! Oh, God, ow. Well, I mean, he could just, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess in the Sahara it wouldn't hurt as much because you'd in theory land on sand, whereas in Las Vegas you'd land on uh, concrete. concrete or people because there's lots of people on the strip. Ooh. <laughs> Straight from the zebra to crowd surfing. Okay, we done with this question? <laughs> yeah. This question has gone off the rails. Let us know in the comments down below. Do you like zebras? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. I, ju I just spat out a random question. <laughs> Do you like zebras? I was there. I remember. <laughs> I was like, <laughs>